So now we have a waypoint editor window. Now after this, we will create a public transform by the name of waypoint origin. And this will be a reference which we will be adding or assigning, which will be used as a parent for the waypoints. After this, let's create a on GUI function. And in here, we will create a serialized object by the name of obj. It will be equals to new serialized object and we will say this and basically this serialized object will be for our window so we can easily draw its properties after this let's create a property for our waypoint origin so we will say editor gui layout dot property field and in here we will say obj dot find property and the property name will be our waypoint origin and after this make sure that we applied the modified properties so we will say obj dot apply modified properties And after this, let's check if our waypoint origin is assigned. And if it is not, then we will add a message that assign the waypoint origin. So for that, we will say if the waypoint origin is not equals to or actually equals to null, then what we will do? We will say editor GUI layout dot help box. And in here we will add a message which will be please assign a waypoint origin transform and after this the message type will be a warning so we will say message type dot warning after this if the waypoint origin is assigned then what we want to do when the waypoint origin is being assigned then we will show some buttons and that buttons will be for creating the waypoint so right here we will call a function which will be by the name of create buttons don't worry we will create this button and also we want this button to be shown in a vertical direction so for that we will say editor gui layout dot begin vertical and in here we will say box and after this we will show the button in the vertical layout then we will say editor gy layout dot end vertical and that is it now let's go ahead and create this function so after this on gui right down below we will paste the name then we will say void create buttons and now it is time to create all of the buttons so in the list the first button will be for creating the waypoint so we will say if gui layout dot button and let's name this button as create waypoint if that is the case then we will call a function which will be by the name of create waypoint and now let's go ahead and create this function as well after this create buttons we will say create waypoint let's make it a void create waypoint in here we will create a new game object by the name of waypoint object and in here we will give it a new name so we will say new game object let's name it as waypoint plus and this will be followed by our waypoint origin child count so we will say waypoint origin dot child count and what this will do is when we click on this uh, create waypoint button it will create a new game object inside our waypoint origin by the name of waypoint and that name will be followed by the waypoint origin child count so for example if we create the first button then its name will be waypoint 
0 and then if we create another one then it will be waypoint 1 then waypoint 2 like this it will go in the forward direction and after this let's assign the waypoint component as well so we will say dot type of and the type will be the waypoint after this let's set this waypoint object as a child of our waypoint origin so we will say waypoint object dot transform dot set parent the parent will be the waypoint origin because we want all of the waypoint object to be inside in our waypoint origin okay after this we want to make our waypoint system automatically link waypoint when we create new waypoints so let's say waypoint dot waypoint this will be equals to waypoint object dot get component and let's get the waypoint component okay which is our script and the reason we are uh, needing the waypoint script right here is we want the reference to our waypoint component such as uh, previous waypoint next waypoint and the waypoint width so once you do that we will say if waypoint origin dot child count is greater than one okay it means that if the waypoint object is being created then what we want to do we will say waypoint dot previous waypoint and this will be equals to waypoint origin dot get child and the child will be the waypoint origin dot child count minus two and then dot get component and let's get the waypoint so what this means that if the waypoint origin has more than well one child then we will assign the previous waypoint and so after this we will say waypoint dot previous waypoint dot next waypoint will be equals to the waypoint after this now let's also set our new waypoint facing the same direction as the previous waypoint so right here we will say waypoint dot transform dot position and this will be equals to waypoint dot previous waypoint dot transform dot position after this we want to place it in the forward direction so we will say waypoint dot transform dot forward and then this will be equals to waypoint dot previous waypoint dot transform dot forward and after this we want to select the newly created waypoint in order to edit it so we will say selection dot active game object and this will be equals to waypoint dot game object so now if we save this and get back to unity now if we click on waypoint then waypoint editor tool right here as you can see it is showing us this warning which is please assign a waypoint origin transform and if you notice our code right here we are giving a warning to the user that please assign a waypoint origin transform so everything is working perfectly fine now as you can see we can't see the create waypoint button because we don't assign that so let me put it right there and then let's create a waypoint origin right here so we will create a empty game object by the name of waypoint origin you can name this whatever you want but i will name it as waypoint origin as you can see it is right here now let's try and drop that in there and now as you can see we have the create waypoint button now if we click on create waypoint as you can see it has created 
a waypoint right here which is followed by the child count of the waypoint origin and the first child as you can see it starts from zero if you notice our code right here we say that if the waypoint origin is not assigned we will show this warning and if it is assigned we will show the buttons and as you know the first button was the create waypoint button right here as you can see and when the user click on that it called this function and inside this function it created this waypoint followed by the child count of the waypoint origin and as you know that when we created the waypoint object okay we have assigned this script the waypoint script to that object and then we have assigned our previous waypoint and our next waypoint if you click on this waypoint 01 or just 0 as you can see here it is our previous waypoint and next waypoint for now we don't have any next waypoint so that's why this value is empty let's for example create another one now if we click on 0 as you can see for the next waypoint it is 1 and for the 1 the previous waypoint is 0 and if you notice that whenever we create a new waypoint it is being selected right here in the hierarchy by default and that is due to this code so i hope you understand this code step by step and now you can make changes according to your own choice so now if we create as many waypoints we want you will notice that the previous and next waypoint will be added automatically as you can see for the one the next waypoint is two and previous is zero now if we get back to two the next is three and the previous is one and in similar way to that as well and now for the last waypoint six we, we can just add this manually that the next waypoint will be zero and for the zero the previous waypoint will be six so now all of these waypoints are connected to each other so I hope now you guys know how to create the waypoint system. We have many more functionalities and features for our traffic AI, but don't worry about that. We will do that in the upcoming videos. For this video, I hope you understand how all of these things work and you are able to make any changes now. With this done, catch you guys in the next one.